Hey everybody, XCI here for Let's Play of Mass Effect 2. Here we have Joshua Coyote Shepard, we have Garrus over here, and we have Morden. Morden Solace. Okay, we are in we are on the Citadel, and I've just endorsed this wonderful shop here, the Citadel of Souvenirs. Of I guess that's the name of it, Citadel Souvenirs. Um, I love their stuff. It's wonderful, and I'm I'm dead, not dead. Okay, so I'm gonna go left. Uh, I, I I do I want I want to click on this real quick. Hold on. See if there's something new. The top story in international affairs is a Batarian test of a new orbital mirror system. By placing large arrays of mirrors at a planet's Lagrange points, it is possible to focus sunlight at any point on its surface. The Batarian hegemony insists that the system is for peaceful purposes, to control weather and terraform worlds too or cold burn. for settlement. However, Turian monitors contend that the system could be used to focus sunlight into a thermal weapon. Right. Yes. Like burning all the biomasses down on the planet below. Okay, so we've talked to here, we've talked here. Let's go and explore. Zakara. Z oh, a cat. Okay, I'm li I'm liking the look of the, the new set at all. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I like how it feels like it's functional. Like there's a souvenir shop. Which is actually well, it's not so so strange. It's like it's a it's not a tourist attraction, but it's like where everybody comes, and it's this is kind of like a an airport kind of you know alley sort of thing. I mean, it really feels like an airport actually. And then there's like a cafe, which makes sense because it, it, it feels like an airport ca airport cafe. Please stop it with the tap. Okay, it's been it's been I a while. This I know. Is so, the wait. best place for food on Zakara Ward. Am I gonna have to endorse another wrong. store? This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. All right, can I talk to you first before browsing your cafe so I can get cheaper coffee? Is that a thing? No? Okay. I thought that was like a, an insect thing. I mean, that looks tasty as hell. Hell. Uh, High-grade provisions. Various quality cuisine items used to prepare diplomatic dinners aboard starships. I'm thinking I need this. I don't know. Wait, I'm looking for stuff for the cook. Ascension Novel. Written by human author Drew... Carpishin. The popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Uh, oh, it's only five. Take Revelations novel. Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Carpishin that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansion following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean math re mass relay of Pluto and the beginning of the human galactic exploration. Yeah, I'll buy it. Wait, there was... Did someone like books? No, she was wine, the doctor. Why do I feel like there's something with... Did I run across anything with novels? People liking books to read? Romances? Oh my god, I'm thinking of Dragon Age. I'm thinking of Win or something. <laughs> okay, so we got some books. Um, sure, let me see if that opened up any codexes worthy of real... My god, it did. Really? And it's got more information on it? Okay, well, hell, I gotta read this now. So, written by human author Drew Carpishin. The popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Following the Citadel attack of 2182 and the accelerated rise of human influence in the galaxy, Cerberus instituted Ascension, a secret biotics program aimed at producing a superhuman warrior. Biotics prodigy Gillen Grayson, I like the name Grayson already, a 12-year-old uh, autistic girl, suffered for the sins of her father, a secret Cerberus operative, and Red Sand Addict. Paul Grayson was ensnared in a web of criminality involving a Corian traitor and extending to Saren Arterius, the geth and a terminal threat to the Corian flotilla. Having fled to the Terminus system with his daughter after exposure of Cerberus' link to Ascension, Grayson was pursued by Gillen's teacher, scientist Kaylee Sanders, initiating a chain of tragedies that demonstrated Cerberus's nearly unlimited power and boundless ambition. My brain was trying to see what this was trying, like if there was like a subtext going on here. I can't think of it. I might have to reread it, but I can't think of it. And then we have Revelation. Revelation is a popular military historical novel by human writer Drew Carpishin that dramatizes human conflicts and political expansions following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean math 
why do I always want to say math? Mass relay is because I say Prothean, maybe? I don't know. Both Prothean mass relay on Pluto and the beginning of a human galactic exploration in 2165, years before his rise, political prominence, Lieutenant David Anderson was a young veteran of the Turian War, investigating the destruction of top secret military research station Shanxi. Every scientist stationed at Shanxi had been slaughtered except Kaylee Sanders, who disappeared with secret files making her, her Anderson's prime suspect. The book traced Anderson's dangerous investigation of Sanders, which included running run-ins with Blue Sun mercenaries and a Krogan bounty hunter. The investigation uncovered illegal research into AI and forced Anderson to an alliance with human-hating Turian specter Saren Arturius. Who would eventually enter into a genocidal collaboration with the Geth. Okay, are these actual novels that might be out there? Like, I know there are Mass Effect novels out there. Are these summaries to the Mass Effect novels that are out there? Because that's kind of cool. I mean, it's cool if they would have baked in a like, sort of promotion to the this, to this stuff they have going on on the side. I think that's pretty smart. We have... Sure, I'll read this one. The Master Thief Kasumi Secrets. We have... Beckenstein. Wait, what's gray boxes again? A numeric neural recall simulator, also known as a gray box, is a device implanted in the brain to assist and prioritize memory. Originally developed to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease, gray, gray boxes function by helping the amygda amygdala chunk incoming stimuli into recognizable pieces of memory cons consolidation. Each memory is assigned a shape or sensation from other memories, tying the concepts together into a block that is more easily recalled. With, synth with synthetic insights first released, when synthetic insights first released them onto the market in 2140, gray boxes were hailed as a way humans could level the playing field between themselves and the Salarians whose neural eidetic memories gave them an advantage. However, because the implant procedure of a gray box requires the brain to irreversibly shift its workload over to the machine, software bugs or attempted removal of the gray box for maintenance purposes could lead to inca incapacitating brain damage. Jesus. For this reason, gray boxes soon became used only by those with a dire need for photographic memories, such as researchers and spies. In 2175, sale and implementation of gray boxes were outlawed by the System Alliance following an incident with Abram Ramoy, an employee of the Alliance Intelligence Agency. Ramoy was believed to be a professional con man and thief named Kaiji Okuda, who accessed and sold classified data. However, prosecuting attorneys were unable to use his assisted memories as evidence due to the Alliance Court systems prohibitions against self-incrimination based on the fifth amendment of the old u.s constitution ramoy soon disappeared off the map following his trial further heightening suspicions that he was okuda and living off of ill-gotten gains when found outside a human head great boxes are usually accessed with a specialized reader a separate decryption key is almost always required as users with data sensitive enough to require great boxes invariably install their own encryption Okay, that's kind of nuts. I mean, you kill someone and take their gray box, but then you have to encrypt it because it's sort of like a hard drive with personal encryption and stuff. So anyways, okay, now we have Planet Beckenstein, which I guess got mentioned, but I forget with Kasumi. Okay, more glittering than diamonds, more expensive than surgery. That's how travel agents describe this planet behind closed doors. Given the opportunity to colonize planets after the first contact war, the Systems Alliance chose Beckenstein to be their trading arm, producing goods to be sold on the nearby citadel. Cracking the vast galactic marketplace proved difficult. The first human product sold on novelty alone, then lack of demand hit Birkenstein's economy hard. Only in the second generation of colonists did the planet find a sustainable niche in high-quality entertainment and luxury goods. Once brand awareness sunk in, aliens flocked into Beckenstein's many spaceports. The planet today boasts more millionaires and billionaires per capita than any other human colony. Though its crime tends to be white-collar and non-violent, Beckenstein is not without its dark side. Both its suicide rate and inflation are extremely high compared to other worlds. Unemployment is artificially low because few people immigrate to the expensive planet without having a job lined up. And the cost of living is so great that unemployed workers typically leave for kinder planets after just a few months. Those who stay see themselves as tougher, sharper, and more skillful than the rest. 
as well as capable of getting respect and employment on any lesser planet. As a popular song says, if you can make it on the back, you got him by the neck. All right, millionaire, billionaire planet where the 1% either get screwed or get better and more efficient at getting better jobs and stuff, I guess. Okay, and then we have ships and vehicles, which I'm probably not going to read. Let me just look at what it is. Dreadnoughts, frigates. I'll read that on my uh, between episodes. And then we have primary. I don't think I got any new primary. Nope. Okay, let's get back to... Okay, the journal. Ah, take the special ingredients to the cook. Okay, so I did need to get those for the cook. And that's it there. Wait, what is? what am I missing? Oh, those new... No, I'm not... I'm, okay, let's go, go back to wandering around. Yes, please. Let's... Just take things slow because I feel like there's a lot of new inputs going on here. Solar electronics. I love how they have, like, advertising as we go. I mean, everywhere. The Dark Star. Visit Dark Star. Level 28. Oh, this design is way better, man. Explorer this? ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Rachni ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The Council has pledged a full investigation. I may or may not have had something to do with that. Sources say that the Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, may be leaving the Citadel after years of bad press and rumors of intelligence leaks. Sort of what happens when, you know, they aren't just rumors. Oh, that was fun. I guess that's the taxi lobby or the... Do you guys want to say something? No. Okay, dark store. Dark store. Star. Star. Okay, let's go down. Okay, now I'm wandering. I'm wandering down levels at this point. I haven't yet figured out the top. Commander Shepard. This is fun. Saren's plan, defeated the Geth army, and died in the final days of the fight. Or did he? Witnesses report seeing him alive on Omega. <laughs> I, lo I love that there's these terminals as you go and you can trigger the news. Before you used to have to be in the elevator and then the, and then the news would kick in. I love that you could just wander around and click on the news. I am most definitely down a level now. And I feel like I'm going to regret this very quickly and get lost. Hey guys. Are you the help desk? Damn it, no, don't do the tap. I guess if they wanted to talk to me, they would... Okay, there we go. Use, use ship salesman. You can buy ships? Wow, those look like models to me. You there. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly ship. used, yes. I can buy ships? With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. Could I interest you in a Turian Escarin sporting Let shuttle? Let me see your prices. <laughs> Unmatched acceleration, peerless yes. maneuvering. Yes. And like I, I all Turian ship. shuttles, it can fit a light mass accelerator cannon. Perfect for heavy traffic. Uh, okay, I'll come back. I'll come back later. Uh, okay, let's keep going left. Even though I'm on a different level. Wait, Galactic News. Yes, we're... we're... Where did I, where did I? I was over here behind the big dude. Oh, I like his clothing. Hey, guys. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. Oh, I guess they got back on their feet. That's good. It took me a little bit. I was confusing things. Okay, we have Sarah's appliances. Hello, doorway. Hey, are you a bouncer? No, okay. Let's go into the appliance shop. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. Are you married? I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Guess Miranda they could saying was, be with pick anybody. up a module. Who? It's something to do with the Omnigel modulator's heatsink, right? That's why he asked us to go to Saranus. So is it a heatsink module, or a whole new Omnigel module that has a better heatsink? Politely. Continuing to ask will not cause me to suddenly know. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Sounds like every relationship. Okay, so, uh, s nope, I'm going to talk to you Saranus first. Welcome to Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Now? Even seen Alhanar would remember Shh. the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Right. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. 
Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. <laughs> Want an endorsement. I have You to know, go. I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the I, have, I have no shame. Don't interfaces anyway. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how often I hear, why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. I you know, I like your product. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I love how he's like back in, back in up Shepard. I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. This is I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. But now I've done that for two shops. I'm, I'm. Part of me is hoping this goes wrong somehow, like that they've, they've done something with this. I think it's kind of hilarious. It's almost him like, I don't want to say trolling the system, but he's sort of trolling the system. But I would love for it to kind of turn wrong on him. Okay, so, wow, cannot afford. <laughs> So Omni Tool would be good for me, I suppose. And then she'll... Well, okay. I guess we're coming back when we make a lot more money. Let's go, guys. Keep wandering. Shepard, we know times are tough. Station oh. records show that you made only... Zero credit. Last year. <laughs> if you need something to get you to your... Because I was dead, fool. On error, did not found. Let cause porn and pay <laughs> loan can help. We offer you credit on the spot for personal and home electronic devices. Precious metals and jewels, genetic assay data, and virtual intelligences. No credit check, no questions asked. All we need is your citizenship ID. Come down today. Okay, so I can get money somewhere. There's like a weird thing happening at my feet there. Okay, it didn't rip me. Okay, let's just move on. Was there something on this side of the wall? It's more advertising. Just advertising everywhere. Hey, Keeper. Where am I? What is this? Serta Foundation. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's Michael. supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, is this the, the couple? The can delay muscle development in high gravity it is, right? environments. What if that hurts him? They had the baby? So they had the baby. So the baby lived. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional I... motor control side effects. I'm right, right? Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Jake is fine, Rebecca. He's a perfectly healthy toddler. Okay. Good day, yeah. citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With They're respect, all steep. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? Let's An endorsement from thing. the man who defeated Sarah. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I guess I'm not dead. I, I might as well just play this out. Discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console. I love all the stores. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. <laughs> I can't help but think it has to be trollery. It has to be. He's messy. He's messing with people at this point. Okay, we have. Six 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 six. Why? Why would it be a six 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 six? Is that a dangerous thing? Life support webbing within a wearable framework. The Serta Foundation developed an innovative net of micro stimulants and Menagel in order to increase the chance of survival for aid workers and military personnel working in hostile environments. Increases health by ten percent. Okay, that's totally totally affordable. This would wipe me out. So both of these things would wipe me out. Micro scanner, medical upgrade, metagenic gel capacity increased by two. I don't really need this yet. I'm going to pass on this one just to see if there's anything else out there. But okay, all modern combat armor incorporates a first aid interface, microprocessors in this interface monitor vital functions and release small localized doses of metagel to accelerate the healing process. Manually timed heavy doses of metagel can be released in response to major trauma. However, the efficiency of this is dependent on proprietary medical software that cannot be copied and is prohibitively expensive. Cerberus has developed its own software and is actively working to improve efficiency. Then give me your software, Cerberus. I'm going to buy this one. Though. Okay. Here we go. Let's come back. Maybe. Uh, Apex Omni Tools. 
shipping warehouse. Okay, let's go to the shipping. Wouldn't warehouse. a refreshing, delicious ah! Kapari sports drink hit the spot right now? You know, it hit the spot, and you mouse. Tupari, now available with dextro amino acids. Because some aliens. You could really go for a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? Tupari can get now killed by like normal stuff or something. Real Tupo berry juice. Okay then, I see that's going nowhere. I can go. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. What's with this Omni Jail converter thing, Jake? That people are talking about here, man. Fine, let's go to the warehouse. I'm Joshua. Sh I'm Joshua. Sh I'm, I'm. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm Joshua Shepard. I can go wherever the hell I want. I'm a specter. Was. Am still. Well, in my head, I am still. I think officially I'm dead and off the books. But. <laughs> my civil wide endorsements say otherwise. Why is there nothing to do in here? What? You guys are. Don't hold back on me. Is this store. Can I go through? Okay, guess we're gonna come back here later. I'm sure something will be going down. It took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omni Gel Converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you Cision. have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. Oh, maybe he's trying to game the system. Is he trying to like game something? This Clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Lie Vale. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking I like me, that armor. Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with c -Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. Hmm. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't leave your chip at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. Looks you like think I'm gonna be running make a around. Mistake like that. I didn't even buy anything there. That shit stayed in my pocket. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Easy does it. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used sh a minute oh, later. No, I missed something he here. runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Okay, just hold on. Do then. you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. She could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> Easy. She's definitely on, a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. So an interrogation? No, no, no. Hold on. Let me all look into I'll this. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian there. 
If you do happen to find a civilian, chip, please do you know let who I am, bitch? Know. Actually, no, I'm Let's dead. go. Be careful out there. Don't listen to the advertising. They lie. Um, so there's our tra our tra rapid transit system right now here. Available on video, the abridged version of Francis Kitt's award-winning production of Hamlet. Oh, yes. <laughs> they went forward with this. Took him two years. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. Oh. This is glorious. Your gambles, your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar. And don't forget to catch Elcor Hamlet live, an unforgettable 14 Oh dear. Experience. In sincere endorsement, you have not experienced Shakespeare until you have heard him in the voice of Elcor. In sincere endorsement. Oh, Elcors, you're you're wonderful. All right, what do we do? Yeah. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. <laughs> yes. What I love I ramen. Mm, a ramen? Fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. We have six kinds of beer on tap. Give me all of them. We don't have a karaoke machine anymore. You do not sing. want to hear drunk Elcor sing. I actually do want to hear a drunk Elcor sing. Us. Okay, I guess we're done here. Uh, Avina. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. Storage space, you say? What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology oh, I should have checked this first. has oh, an outlet matter. store. Sarinus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attached there That's to so load far passengers fetched. and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. This area looks a little run down. No, I man, it looks beautiful. Here are very well off. Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. And here I thought the Citadel was some sort of utopia. The recorded histories of all sapient species suggest that in every society, resources are not evenly split between members. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot really. be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. Sloppy thinking. Society grows by pushing against limitations. Ah, I like you. Uh, we're done here. That's okay. all for now. Thank you for using Avena. You're have a welcome. Day. No, you have a pleasant day. Are we done here? I think I yeah, I went that way. I came up for okay, so we're going back up. Wait, are we is there another down option? Wait, I have to check let's check the store while we're here. There's a Volus outside who lost his credit chip. Did you happen to see him drop it anywhere? I don't recall any other Vol clan entering my showroom today. Just that migrant clan girl putting her fingers all over the brochures again. Okay, I think there's just general racism going on. But I think I need to I need to do a round of all the shops again. Here, let me, let me just do a round while I'm I'm already Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, who died fighting Saren on Vermeer, was posthumously awarded the Salarian Silver Dagger and the Turian Nova Cluster. Williams served proudly with non-human crew members, and was once heard to say, Human or alien, we're all just animals. She is the first Alliance soldier to proceed. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite <laughs> store on the Citadel. <laughs> I guess I'm alive. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left Dumbass. until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Uh, nicely done, by the way. 
Thanks for your time. <laughs> I'll be here if you need anything. Stupid cable market. Okay, so now let's go through. Uh, sort I'm Commander of... Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the. I just. He's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. I know. Oh, for sure it is. I just want to protect him. I know. Oh, that's I'm not cool. being irrational, Michael. I know. Don't do this again. I helped you guys mend your family now. Just take care of the little one. All right, you. Good day, citizen. Do you something you I don't think I was supposed to come here. I think I'm done with. Award. Yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm just done browsing. Here. Thanks. Come back soon, Shepard. <laughs> Uh, that's for sure gonna bite me in the end. It's got it for sure. Wait. Now let's just end this. I am sure there's. Something. I felt her hand go into my pocket. Relax, dude. You, when I okay, checked, well, let me finish. My credit chit was gone. Go ahead. Keep sounding like an asshole, you. right? And please move along. No. You forgot your credit chit at Serona's application. Dumbass. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Oh, I missed it. Thank you. I... No! I wish I could give you something more than words. I would have loved to have given you the Paragon option. I feel like... Oh, I can't reload. I've done so much. And it hasn't saved... Damn it! <sighs> okay, well... I should... Ah. Okay, thank... Okay, so... What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? You had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Well. Wow, I got a thousand credits for that? Well, I really want to know what that Paragon option was like. Shoot. Half of me... Can I go over here? Half of me is wanting to reload all this thing. <laughs> and then come back to here. And then I, I wrap it up uh, accordingly. I've done so much around this Citadel, though. It barely gave me time. It barely gave me time to do anything. Ugh. Well, okay, I most definitely replayed this. Um, I couldn't I couldn't accept it. I got it up to the point where I've uh, come in here and I've grabbed, grabbed the chit. I do want that Paragon option. I just, I can't accept it. I can't move on without seeing what that would have done. I feel like it's something it would have done because... You know, he's he's been close to Quarian, and it just... I mean, I wouldn't say he's, like, super sensitive for, like, racist views on things. Like, it's Coyote. I mean, I'm sure he's, he's still trying to get through his own biases, too, and working through the system. But at least feel like he needs to show them some respect. Um, and, and just the idea of, like, innocent until proven guilty and... This is a little bit too overt, so I'm going to repl replay the uh, end of this I scene here. Hand go into my pocket when I checked, and let's see what happens. My credit chit was gone. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Serona's applications. A dumbass. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh, well, the quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report. But I'll be watching you. It's that line right there that triggers me, like, or I'll run you in for bitch. Are you too serious? That's, yes, here what? we go. Punch him in the you face. You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you? Yes. She gets harassed and insulted what I'm talking by this guy, about. and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? Stupid. How about if I run you in for Do obstruction it. of justice? Do it. I'm a punch. I'm a punch. Uh, do you know who I am, bitch? You think you're gonna oh. run in a former Spectre? He just tried. I think both Spectre of you should word. get out of here. Oh, son of a. Well, if the endorsements weren't doing it. I wish I could give you something more than words. I think I said this one. I'm gonna go with this one this time. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Thanks. For experience. Ten Paragon. You get extra points for doing those options? I just thought the scene it got expanded upon and potentially had an effect on like thing like had lasting effects. I didn't know that it gave you more points. Well now I definitely I will I need to sort of have uh, yeah. I need to have like a gut feeling when I'm in dialogue at this point, just in case those options come up. I need to know that 
I'm either in that scene because I have a good feeling about things and I want to I want to be able to trigger a paragon like result or I'm dealing with criminals or whatever and I have to be prepared for the renegade result and which means that and I don't know if this is the case I don't know if like paragon always comes before renegade but I just need to be I need to commit to the fact that if I'm like if coyote is speaking with a criminal and I have a paragon option there's a very there's there's very good chance I'm not going to click paragon and I'm just going to let it go by the wayside um because I will be waiting for the renegade. But the scenario here is that if I'm dealing with people, civilians, um, people of authority that I want respect from, and that they de- and they deserve it, I I want to be ready for the paragon option, and I'll let the renegade options pass in that case. So, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to go around this corner here because I know I got this far when I was closing the episode, and this triggered something right I heard here. That those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. Boom. You ever been up there? Find someone as a car no. market. won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. That's a little bit overtly violent there with the words, but I did find but I, I do find it interesting that it looks like CSEC is strangely it's not so much corrupt as it's I mean, I guess they already it already had kind of asses, I'm sure, in the old Citadel. But I feel like the segregation of different races, which I think I haven't learned yet in the game, but you guys have mentioned in the comments. Or maybe I did learn in the game, but I forget. But it's the idea... Oh, and I, I do know there's like a game thing up there, so I'm not going to go there. I'm going to do that next episode. Anyways, but I feel like something's happened since, like, in the last two years, where now that there's, like, races and different wars, like, I feel like CSEC is strangely racist and i feel like right now like that guy was human i'm like is it because there's more humans in csec is that some sort of strange commentary on what was going on because it was it used to be more turian no because this guy was talking with turians i know in any case it feels like there's there's more segregation going on between races and what are you looking at keep walking no, I'm just, uh, but i feel like that's strange anyways um so I'm I'm curious to see how that all pans out because I feel like something something's gonna happen with CSEC is my gut feeling at this point. Whether it's like internal corruption going on in there, Coyote's gonna get look at this guy doing crazy moonwalk spirals. Um, whether Coyote gets involved or whether it's I don't know, guys. I'm I don't want to speculate any further because I don't want to prompt any potential spoilers happening in the comments. But I am going to wrap up this episode here. I'll cut this into what I recorded first. And then we will be off. And I will be, uh, I'm will i going to continue exploring the Citadel. I'm going to go up those stairs and see how much further this expands. Other than that, we it looks like we have um, this thing opened up about fish. So I guess there's a market somewhere. And, and then we're going to go... Further exploration in the Citadel. I never anticipated anything different. I, it, it's a Citadel. There's going to be a couple episodes dedicated to just wandering around and pushing the story in here. I had no no surprises that this thing would be huge. And it looks amazing. It, it's just a fast... Yeah. It's a glorious design. They did impeccable job with the Citadel this time around. It really feels like the sort of area you port your ship in. And then and then it feels very airporty and terminally. And I, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Okay, guys. I'm Commander Shepard, oh. and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> and now I'm endorsing every shop. That's that's great. Okay, don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire, buddy. Catch you on next time. Peace. I do want to. I do feel like it needs to be like it's a trollery. Like that's the that's the canon. It's he's trolling the system. Later. <laughs>